Hey y'all, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> I'm not really pleased or enthused when the catfish is the person all along. I I'm not gonna hold y'all to it. Yes, I was sitting here and I said, okay. That's that's one of my least favorite. I don't like the catfish reveals to be the actual person. Unless it's some crazy story. I don't know. Cause the story, the episode wasn't too outrageous. It was okay. But it wasn't like what I was hoping for. I want to see a crazy outrageous story. They didn't get to it. Hope they they saving the best for last because it's kind of slowly building. It's not right. Oh, if y'all was wondering about my last week review of Catfish, I still did that review. It wasn't pre-recorded. It's on my live. So I will put the link to my live that I did last week or this, this past Sunday of the Catfish episode of Cody and Brittany. Yes, I did a live review on that on my Mizzle Talks that I do on Sundays at 4 o'clock. So if you're hoping to see that, please watch that video. It is time stamped. So if you don't want to watch the whole video, which I do feel like you should, but if you don't want to, under the comment section down below the video is time stamp. So you can go fast forward to that time stamp and then you get the review of the Catfish videos. Because I tell you that the other day, that Cody was very gullible. Very gullible. And Watch that review and y'all see how y'all feel about that. But let's get to this review. Check it. Hey, what's up? My name is Mizzle. You're watching my channel, Mizzle 14. And we're back doing a review of MTV Catfish. Season 8, episode 84, Jasmine and Ryan. So let's get into it. So Jasmine, 20 years old, she lives in Baltimore, Maryland, and she has two kids. She's a single mom. So that's a no, that's a whole package deal. Whoever trying to step in her realm, you need to set everything, not just her, but all both her kids. So she wrote to the show. She started talking to this guy named Ryan six months ago on a dating app. They've been texting from, to each other. They had talked on the phone. He has a deep country accent, as she says. And she was going through a lot of tumultuous time. She, um, before that, but she said she, the reason why she had connected with him is she liked him because he was tall, handsome, funny, family man, all the other stuff that you could think about. And a guy, and it's like okay, a lot of that together it sounds like a red flag, but because <laughs> sometimes it's too, too good to be the truth. So they were talking, but the reason why they connected, it's like I think like she's yearning for that love and that connection and that warmth because she went through a lot of troubles in her life. And when she met Nina Cammy, she kind of like broke down and tell us her backstory, which is. Interesting to say the least, and it was sad to say that she grew up in foster care because you know, her mom she was on drugs, and she, it, was, it was a lot. You know, sometimes when you're a parent, you can't take care of your children, they had to go to the system. So, it was there, but you know, she never had a great experience in the foster care because most foster care um, children don't have great experiences, they don't have loving people. They had people who just want to take the money and get the city um, government money and everything to take care of it and to treat you like trash, and then you get all messed up. So, that's her experience. So, when she was a teenager, she able she was able to find a biological mom and you know as most people who wants to be with their biologicals so she wanted to be my mom and she just that happened so when at that time one time she remembered is that mom was home and she was like on the influences on the influence and she told her daughter which is jasmine that uh, i will go in the room at a certain time wake me up that's what happened. But when they got to the room, she heard a big dump on the floor and her mom passed away. 
in her womb and everything. So it's like she's then, you know, she never been the same. And I understand losing a parent is it does change you. It does change you and everything. It never gonna get easier. Sometimes it never probably go away. It still follows you, but you had to live your life. So because of that, she went through different trials and tribulations and relationships where the first one was her first baby daddy with her kid that she had got pregnant by. He was very abusive. And so that was troubling. So she was able to get out of it by, you know, she called the police and everything. And I think he kind of ran away. So they never called up to him. So she got out of that situation. And then it didn't give her enough time to heal. So she went on to another one. And I guess she actually had her youngest daughter because she got two kids, two, two girls. And that's that. So from there, she started to work on herself and get better at her and heal because she had been on survival mode. I am survivor. I'm not no giver. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna work harder. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Survivor. She's a survivor. So she was gonna do that. And then she started talking to this guy, Ryan. And that's the whole she met now. And you know, he got courage to her. He was um, uplifting her and have a conversation. So they'd be all cool. Now, they haven't really FaceTime yet because every time it's FaceTime, he always gives excuses. Uh, father's in jail, mom's this, and everything. Um, he has an Instagram account, and it was like 2,000 followers. And it seems okay, legit, with the following. like, And that. So, seems like everything he's he been telling her so far is checking out. He did say he worked in construction, and that's that. Oh, what what I was saying. So she remember the time because he never faced time, so he always give excuses. So when they were supposed to meet up at some point because he lives in um Southampton, Virginia, which is like four hours away from where she's at. So he supposed to meet up with her. And when the time it came that he had some whole excuses, it was a family emergency, I can't come, we're gonna make them next time. So it was at one point, I think around January. He kind of like just straight blocked her. Just ghosted her. Just ghosted her. Speaking of ghosts, I wish MTV did not cancel MTV Ghosted. I, to be honest, y'all, I enjoyed the show. And I reviewed the show. MTV. MTV. I know people was watching the show because of my reviews and stuff like that. Please bring that back. No, I really did enjoy MTV Ghosted. It was interesting to me. Because this is people who you really see the rating. So now I want to know why they ghost to you. And sometimes, like, unless it's you in danger, you should not find a person. Maybe sometimes there's a tricky situation why. But I definitely did enjoy the show. But it's not about ghosting. But he goes to her two months ago. And then a month later, after he goes to her for like a month and later, he reached out to her. He said, I apologize. I'm sorry. I love you. I shouldn't have done this to you. And everything. And I'll make up to you. And I'm never going to do this again to you. I was like, okay. All right. And then she mentioned that she does have children. And he does, because she did mention him a couple of times. Because she said, listen, I got to let you know. I have two kids. So I'll let you know you're going to run, fight, or flight. What you going to do? You going to fight with it with me or you going to run away? And she said, oh, yeah, he loved his, he loved the daughters, and he loves her. And I said, oh, okay, cute. So he said, everything said and done, what are you going to do? Like, will you want to move with him, live with him and everything? Else like that? She said, yes. If everything works out and everything is good, she would up and leave and move into, to Virginia. I said, oh. Now, speaking of that, Virginia is a nice place because I, I, I have a friend who lives in Virginia, and she lives in northern Virginia. And it was very peaceful. Now, you do have to have a car, but it was very peaceful up there. It was very peaceful. The house was nice. I mean, it was hot, though. It was hot. Though, you know? But it was nice houses, things, things. I said, how am I living up there? The only thing about it is that you got to pay all these utilities and whoop them in. <laughs> that was a clue. Chill. So I was like, oh, you move him to Virginia? Why he can't move to Maryland? Why you got to up and move? But 
Especially when you got two kids, I said, ah, no ma'am, no ham, them making the cheese. I'm not moving up there. Can you come over here? <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe we'll change my benefit. So they started investigating because they had to get everything going. Because it's like, it's a lot of directions that proves that he is legit. But it's also a lot of directions that prove that he's not. So we don't know where this could go. But it don't seem like it's like a horrible, but it also seems like it's great either. So we will see where this takes us. They did an investigation, they did a photo search, and they came over the hit. They checked the photo, and then they do the more searching, and it came out to a thing called Discovered by Janela. So when they go to Discovered by Janela, they look at that, and they say, Marjan Janela. So I said, who is Marjan Janela? Okay. Sound like a rapper's name. So they checked the artwork, and it seems legit. It seems like an artwork, and then you see the outfit that he had on that matches like the outfit that was on the thing. Cammy spotted it. I just said, Cammy will spot the small details. So I love Gary because she's smart. She spot things that need you to spot, and he's been in the village for a long time. That's what he. That's you gotta have the the sense of the woman next to you. So they said, okay. So they checked that, and they did a further investigation. And it came up to an Instagram page. Should I check the Instagram page? And it came, it was a very legit page. It had like 5,000 followers. Now, the one that she got, Jasmine got, was like 2,000 followers. So I said, well, this one's the real one. So when they checked that one, they had as a link to a YouTube page. I will say, for someone who don't want them FaceTime like that, you could fail to mention that you was a rapper and you got a YouTube page. Like, she could easily just search you up and then it's fine. So... Yeah, it came to the page and everything. They saw him rapping and everything. So it was like, maybe she can listen to this video and see if she knows the voice. Because, but at the same time, that rapping video didn't seem like he had no country accent. Unless he decided that the rap one was. Because sometimes when you rap or something, you take away the accent. Or stuff. So, so, I said, okay, so why he wouldn't have failed to tell her that he's a rapper? You told us you're a construction worker. But you never told me you was a rapper as well. So I said, okay, it's not wrong with that. Make your money. So that's that. So they do another photo search and it came with another hit. And they saw that. And that first search, photo search came up with an article of him. But the only thing different is, is no name. No name. Even though the Marginero don't really have the name. They just, that's how this all his name. But I would say, okay, so nothing of either investigation leads to us knowing the name is Ryan. Nothing else. Nothing. So I said, oh my gosh, even the article. How do you have an article don't even put, put the person's name? Like, <sighs> so when I checked the Instagram page that she got and see what's compared to the other one, the Instagram page that she has seemed like is a fake page. It seems like a lot of comments is mostly from bots. And, you know, you know, bots be coming through. It's Instagram and stuff like that. You just got to read them out. Read them out. And keep blocking them and deleting them. Blocking them, deleting them. That's what you got to do. And they be coming up with different ways to try to get you. I said, nah, no ma'am, no ham, no making the cheese. We not doing that. So... No name. They searched the phone number. It came up to a Mario in Virginia. They didn't really go that much further, further than that. They let Jasmine up to know the speed. She says she wants to know and she wants closure. So they called him digging a response. So they text him. You know, Neve did her normal text. He said, what's up with Neve? We're from Catfish. We're trying to help you. Jasmine, you know, you've been talking for a while now, and she finally was ready to meet. And we're here to meet, um, here to meet. Can I make this happen? What's going on? Yada yada, get back with me. So, after that, they went up for the day. And that night before Neem went to bed, he got a text from Jasmine saying that he screenshot, no, she screenshot the conversation she had with Ryan. And Ryan said he saw the text and he wanted to make this right. So he gave her the address to Emporia, Virginia, like to a park. And they said, okay, let's go take this road trip. Let's go down and let go. So they went down there. And the park looked kind of weird anyway. So they went over there, waiting and waiting, waiting. 
they thought it was like that person who was coming to the truck. They saw the truck. It looked like a construction truck. And they thought that was the person, but they stopped. It was not even him. It was mostly a bunch of um, loosely paper people. <laughs> that was that. So she was saying, it was good. All right, let's go. Let's go. While it was going, get a text and said, Oh my gosh, I just I couldn't do it. I apologize. I ain't meant to hurt you, and I don't do this again. I was sitting here watching, and I was like, <sighs> He said that last time. Let me tell you. He said that last time that he was not going to do that. And now at this time, he did it again. Like, you gave us an address. Have us drive all over here for you not to show up. And all you want to say is, pop. you saw me? Okay. So they went back home. Well, to the hotel they were staying at. And they said we were going to reconvene and see what's going on and what's happening. So that morning they came back, he gave a text. He said, I apologize. I'm going to make this right this time. So if you want to come, here is the address. Meet me here. So she said, he better be there. He better be there. Because I was like, yeah, if you wanted me to come and you tell us this is the address, you need to meet us there. We should not beat you there. So... They went, they take a road trip. Cruising down the highway. Cruising down the highway. Cruising, cruising, cruising down the highway. <laughs> yeah, I'm being silly, y'all, because the review was in all that. No, not the review. The figure episode was in all that. So I was going to just give you what I give. So I said, damn, that's messed up. Guy was coming to the park and he was not going to be here. I would be pissed. So they went to the address. Because they said, let's go. What you want to do? She said, let's go. Let's go. I said, girl, call down. Don't be too high. <laughs> you don't even know that's a legit real person. But we don't know because at the end of the day, he said, what is it hiding? This is you. Ain't no need for you not to even reveal yourself. That's what I like. Like these people who are actually themselves, the real catfishes, the person that they've been talking to all this time in the, the legit pictures. I said, why is you need to catfish if you be you be telling the truth all the time? The catfish is all about the lying stuff that you omitting when you talk to them. And it's like it can be in different levels of catfish. So they went there, got in the house, you know, need he's got the normal stuff. He had to ring the bell, he had to be all by the door, all that stuff like that. So they standing there waiting, and this guy named Nelly came out. So I said, this not the guy. But the guy, Nelly, had a big old fool. He had his braids wrapped around his neck. It's the long downhill um, locks that he had. Either way, he said, this Nelly. He said, oh, lying and everything. He said, oh, hold up. Let me call my cuz real quick. I said, you want to call your cuz? <laughs> Go call his cuz real quick. So he called his cuz. So they would say, why are we waiting here? We sit here like a boop with the fools waiting for somebody. He's not going to show up. He not even here. Meet us here and nothing. They, this guy didn't know he came back in the house saying he going to call his cuz. And I said, okay. So she said, I'm tired of texting. Let me call him. So while she's about to call him, we see a black car pull up. And guess who was the catfish? Now, I think my thumbnail will reveal the person who being catfish and the catfish together. Usually, I don't put those. I would usually put that out of the catfish or the person getting catfish. But this time, I took a picture of both of them together. And it was actually the real person. It was actually Ryan. And Ryan was tall. And he is handsome. He does have the country voice. He had the little beard. And he was cute. Don't get me wrong. And... And he had the voice. He had the deep voice. You know, how, you, how you doing? What's going on? All that. So they were saying, so what's, what's going on? He's, they see everything he did tell her, he is legit. It's true. The only thing he omitted and he haven't told her is that at the time he was talking to Jasmine, he was married. He was in a marriage. And he said it was a tumultuous marriage. It was a lot going on. So he not with her anymore. He don't have no love for her, and they are separated. 
he'd been married for four years. So I said, that's something you should at least tell me. And let her make the decision once she would continue messing with you or not. But yeah, especially when she's been up and honest, upfront and honest with you, you should be upfront and honest about everything. And being a man is something I should have known too, because I don't want no figure person coming to my freaking phone trying to track me down and try to beat me up because of the fucking uh, mess with somebody's husband. Nah, we can't do that. What did I say like that? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all caught that? Chill. So, we was going to say, okay, what's happening? And he kept talking and he talking and getting a sweet number, and she just saw him like, okay. So they said, all right. So they went inside because we got some more to talk about, more to question. I said, hey, much to say. He said everything. He apologized. He did. Yes, he does construction and he does work for the city, but he doesn't do rap anymore. He said that used to be his old page. He doesn't have that anymore. Marching the arrow. He used to be a rapper. He's not in that lifestyle anymore. And he want to do different things. And he, he's in a career that he's in. So they went inside. And he talked to her again more and more. And he seemed legit. He don't seem like someone who's a prick. And if they don't think about it, he just was admitting that he was married. And then the ghost then that was messed up because he said he was going through a lot. He was... um. His dad was in prison, his mom was sick. He was going through a lot of things. And he had to say his parents one time or after he left the marriage. So he was going through a lot as much as she was going through much. And I think the only thing, sad thing about it is that he kind of blocked her and ignored her for all the time being to get his stuff together, which is fine. But he at least just told her that he needed to take some time away and talking and doing things. So after all the said is done, she seemed like she's okay and she wanted to make this work because he was talking. Yo, what's going on? What's going on? He hey, had that deep voice. I said, hey. Ryan, don't talk my drawers off. Don't talk my drawers off. Because he did sound a nice, nice little country. Like, hey, he was. I said, no, it's not. That's acting like a bird. <laughs> they said, busy. you acting like a bird. Um, oh, that's it. I mean, she's good. She said, oh, oh so we, we exclusive now? Oh, we exclusive? He's all exclusive. I like that. She's like, no. <laughs> so they went out, say goodbye. They gave a little kiss. And that's good. And he do like her. And it seemed like he wants to make it work. Two months later, it was her birthday. Happy birthday, Jasmine. And she said, no, she didn't spend her birthday with him, but they had been talking every day, and he, he, they FaceTime. And they haven't met up yet, but they are planning a weekend together. He came in a call, and I was like that, and that was nice. He did confirm what the hell she said about the texting and FaceTiming and trying to make a weekend trip. And that's it. He's like, oh, sure, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. I said, oh, stop with that. <laughs> stop, boo, stop lying. <laughs> no, that was my review, y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Tell me how y'all feel about this episode. Like I said, the episode was dry. So that's why I try to make it entertainment when I do a review, even when I was a little tired, but still, it's pushed through. Right, don't forget, I will post a link to my video for, or maybe at, not in the comment section, it might be in my description box. I will post a link to the live I did that had the last week review of Cody and Brittany Catfish review, okay? Stay tuned for that. And I'll talk to you later. Tell me how y'all feel in the comment section down below.